An introduction to health and safety. Firstly, I would like to point out that you, as our employee, are our most valuable asset. It is your contribution with your colleagues that results in the high standards that we maintain. Now, we want to achieve the highest standards in health and safety, and this online course will assist you by introducing you to the essentials of health, safety and welfare at work. Now, the first issue I'm going to cover is the safety policy. Now, this all dates back to the Turnbull report, which recommends that organisations have robust systems of internal control, especially relating to the environment, the business reputation and your health and safety. Now, the health and safety policy is not just a document, it is an embodied part of the overall management structure and your controls. Now, this will result in a strong health and safety culture within our organisation. And our health and safety policy has been prepared in accordance with the requirements of the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, and the Management of Health and Safety at Work Regulations as amended 1999. Now, the achievement of high standards of health and safety will reduce harm and losses due to accidents, incidents and ill health, and it makes good business sense. At the same time, it will rely upon a risk-based approach to prioritising so far as is reasonably practical and how to invest in safe working systems in order to achieve value for money for the organisation. Now, what is health and safety at work then? Well, health and safety at work means preventing accidents, injuries and ill health in the workplace. It is making sure that you and other people are not injured or put in danger. Now, accidents can happen anywhere at any time. They can hurt and either kill people, and it is part of your job to take safety precautions and help prevent accidents happening to you and your colleagues.